So here we have a song that we created in a previous tutorial. First thing I want to point out is that you can apply effects globally or to individual tracks. Global effects, or master effects as they're sometimes called, are effects that are applied to all the tracks. This is most often used in mastering a project. You can assign them by clicking on the Project tab, and you'll notice up here it says Global Effects. Or if you go to the Mixer tab, you have your Master Mix. If you click on this, you can add your effects globally. Conversely, if we click on the Effects button on the track, you will see a Track Effects list pop up. We can also access track effects by going to the track button. Here you will notice it says track 1 effects. If we highlight track 2, you'll notice it changes to track 2 effects, track 3, and so on. If you've named your track, you can see in the track details window the name of the track versus just relying on track 1, track 2, track 3 effects. So let's add an effect to our track 1, that's the lead guitar. Before I do that, I'm going to create a loop region so we don't have to bother with rewinding and restarting. If you remember, to create a loop region, simply click and hold and drag over the region that you want to loop. Then go down to this counterclockwise arrow and you've just created a loop region. Now let's go up to the effects button. And here you see your drop down menu for which effect you want to select. Mix craft ships with a number of effects. I think what we're going to do is use a time based effect like a reverb. So let's go down to classic reverb. You'll notice a couple of things. One is the check mark, and that means the effect is now engaged. If you unclick this, the effect stays in your drop down but it is essentially muted from the track. Next to that you have your preset and here you can select from a number of presets. Let's go down to Grand Hall and if you click the Edit button from left to right you have the active box. Checking or unchecking will either engage or disengage the effect. Disengaging essentially is muting the effect. It won't delete it, just mute it. Next to that is our preset drop down menu. Here's where you can go to select your preset. Next to that is the load VST preset file button. This is for your VSTs or VSTIs. To load a preset, click the load VST preset button and locate the .fxb file. The FXB file must be compatible with the VST instrument or you will get an error message. And next to that you have your Save New Preset and then finally Delete Preset button. Note you can only delete presets that you yourself have created. So let's move some of this out of the way. I'm also going to solo this track. I'm going to rewind to make sure I'm at the beginning and push play. You may or may not want that much reverb. Again, we can change it by either going to the preset and let's go down to something completely opposite, a bathroom, and take a listen to that one. What if we want the big hall? We'll try empty hall. And now we're going to change some of our settings on our reverb here.
Let's go back to Grand Hall again for demonstration purposes. I'm going to click out of here and I'm going to add a second effect. This time I'm going to use the Shred Amp Simulator. Its preset right now is Marble Crunch and that's the one that I want. Again, you can edit this preset by clicking the edit button and here you can change your preset or modify the one that you've already chosen. Now if you're interested in amp modeling effects, take a look at the Recording Live Instruments Part 2 video that I created. So let's preview this sound. That's quite ugly. And again, we wouldn't use this in a real life situation, but I wanted to do this to demonstrate another fact. The order of your effects makes a huge difference on your end sound. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to push play and I'm going to push these up and down arrows, which will change the order of your effect. Okay, so let's take a listen and you can hear how the order of the effects makes a huge difference on your end sound. So obviously you want to be really careful of where you place the effect. So that's a quick look at using effects in Mixcraft 5.